Yo, yo, we are back in After Effects. And in today's video, I got some sauce for you guys. I'll be showing you how to make this infinite duplicate effect with this like 3D zoom on it. Looks really cool. It should have been on the Ian and Lil Yachty music video, but it wasn't. So I decided to do it myself. So to do this, you can see I have this Lil Yachty and Ian music video pulled up. Firstly, we're going to start by rotoscoping out Ian because we don't want like Lil Yachty on the scene. And and it will also help us to like duplicate our clips as well if you're doing this for your own music video make sure you have like a blank white background something like this so the effect won't look that choppy but anyways we'll select our clip get our rotor brush tool and start rotoscoping out en so something like this just simply rotoscope out your subject i assume most of you guys know how to rotoscope if you don't use a kind of like brush over to roto and if you made some mistakes you can just hit alt in a keyboard to like erase it so as you can see i roughly like selected out ian you can always go through and just like and confirm if your marks is steady yeah that looks pretty cool right there then after you done like selecting your subject all the way through just freeze your layer so it like freezed and we won't have any problem on future doing all the three this stuff now after you freeze your layer just go back to your composition panel and you will see your like subject is rotoscoped out and we don't have our background anymore so that's exactly what we want you can even like bring up the feather if you like so something like this then now actually we're gonna like duplicate our layer and delete the rotoscope from the bottom layer just so we can get like a sample color so now we're gonna make a solid of the color of our background as you can see it's our background it's like a like a light pale green so we gonna make a color solid for that so selecting your background clip you can even name it like background if it's like too confusing and you can name your roto like a dupe uh, one so it is like symbolized as duplicate but anyways select your background clip and right click on a blank space go over to new and hit solid and while making the solid you can see a thing called color in here and right beside there you can find like a color picker just pick your color on the scene on the background as you can see it's like uh so i just like selected that and hit ok and now we, as you can see the background is blank and we only have ian on the scene so now we're gonna start animating and adding all the duplicates and stuff so let's just get it so firstly before turning on the 3d just right click on the blank space again and you can just go over to new go over to camera and make a new camera right here millimeter can be like 15 mm and you can just hit ok you can even delete your background layer now because we don't need it we already made the solid right here and then just toggle switches and modes and turn on the 3d for your duplicate layer by just hitting this icon right here and you can just scale your subject up in a 3d space and position it as well where you want and hit p on a keyboard now and it will bring up your position right here and in position you can see this value called zero at the last this is like the z value so we're gonna bring this up on minus so like uh, minus 400 or something like that and you can just way down set it where it works or something like that lower down the scale so it's like fitted on the scene you can even hit like y in the keyboard and put the anchor point on your subject so it's like easier to move so if i just move this you can see our subject moves as well so the first duplicate will be like this i like this this looks pretty good now we're gonna make another duplication of him on the right side so just hit ctrl d to duplicate your dupe one to dupe 2 on your timeline and you can see it is like duplicated now then you can just move that duplication over to here flip it by the y rotation so something like this like this rotation right here you can see this like green line then to make it a little different you can just like displace the time of it on your timeline so just like drag your clip over so something like this it has some like time differences going on you can even make that more if you like so something like this maybe i'm gonna position it a bit like further around here then now we have our two main duplications now we're gonna duplicate more and make more duplicates on the z position so what i mean by that is just duplicate your dupe one and it will turn into dupe three by hitting ctrl d remember this shortcut so it's like easier for you then just put it before your dupe one so it is like right off of the solid layer and just in your scene go over to this 
like blue line as you can see and it will call it like z just push that so it gets smaller like this so something like around here and you can always like displace the time of this as well so something like this then now duplicate that again and select your duplication and just position it on the another side rotate it it's the same thing that we did so rotate it and you can just displace the time of this then duplicate that again and we're gonna select our g position and push it further so something around here not too crazy and displace the time of it a little bit and you can just duplicate that and just put it on the left side again rotate it so i'm gonna reset the rotation right there and displace the time time of it as well so as you can see we have a lot of duplication going off our subject so we're gonna do this two more times so just duplicate your clip again push it farther on the z position somewhere around here and just displace the time of this again and duplicate that again put it on the another side flip it and displace the time of it as well so now as you can see we have multiple en going on on the scene and at the end because we like displace the time it like start disappearing to fix that all you gotta do is like trim your layer to this position to do that you can hit n in your keyboard and it's to trim your timeline or if you like working with like a real music video you just gotta like trim out the end but i think this mainly en is like getting in the way so i'm gonna hit the stopwatch in the position of that and go over to the end where he like goes too far and just like slide it over here so it's like blocking out other en on the video and now you can see we have the duplication going on it looks totally crazy right now but we're gonna start adding the zoom so it looks really cool so as you might already remember we made a camera so just open up the camera by hitting this arrow right here go over to transform and in point of interest hit the stopwatch in there and hit the stopwatch in position as well and go over to your last frame so somewhere around here and hit shift three on your keyboard to bring this tool right here it's like a zoom tool so just using this tool just simply zoom in on the center so something like this zoom in until you see your last en so something around here maybe this that was too much so around like here i guess yeah it looks pretty cool now now if i play through you can see we have this super cool duplication effect going on you can leave it right here but to add more depth one thing i like to do is open up camera options and open up the depth and field and you don't really have to mess around with the focal length focus distance i mean then just bring up the aperture so we have a little bit of blur on the duplication which i, I close to camera so you can see this has a bit of like blur as it goes you can even bring this up if you like now we have playthrough you can see it adds a lot of depth with the blur so it looks so cool now to top things up i like to add a little shake so i'm gonna create a new adjustment layer right here and for the shake i'll be using my shake pack so let's just load our fx and preset real quick then we're gonna open up our animation preset go over to user preset and open up my shake pack and i'm gonna use the sd one because our comp is sd and add that then you can just hit u in your keyboard and line up the keyframe a little bit and now as you can see it adds as this dope shakes that looks really cool in the beginning and helps it to like loop you can even bring up the flicker keyframes a little bit a bit like flickering at the end as well but if you want to download this shake pack it's really dope i'll link it in the description comes with a lot of shakes for your music video and it's one of the best shake pack out now but anyways our final effect looks something like this so that's it for today's video guys if you like this video please consider giving a like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this you can even follow me on instagram we are dropping these type of sauce daily so just subscribe to stay locked in so yeah see you in next video peace